not. Uh, we've All right, so up here, look, from warning. This is a warning. Do not, do not interact with this stream. If you see any of these streams up, do not interact with any of these streams that say how to get free access to Counter-Strike 2. I was literally not thinking. I scrolling through YouTube. It was recommended to me. I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, access to CSGO 2, and I clicked the link like an idiot. And I signed into Steam, and I didn't think anything of it because the uh, it asked me for my um, my authenticator key too. So I signed in, but it was a phishing site. It stole my account. Within minutes, I was being logged out of my Steam stuff because when I went to go look at my phone, I was logged out, and I was trying to figure out why was I logged out. I was just logged in. I looked at. I went to go open up my my Steam Deck. And my uh, Steam Deck was logged out. Well, I tried to log into my Steam on a computer. A long, that was logged out. We anything, we're, we tend to As I tried to recover all of my stuff, videos, my email was Canada, changed. Canada, my Canada, password was changed. Expected, um, right? The only uh, thing that can't be changed that, is like your um, on capitalizing on you know, your username. At the same time, we're um, Alex. Yeah. You know, trying but to do stuff the problem is, is that they also did was create a new um, account. You know, a lot of the they created a new account with my uh, email address, like the and they used the beginning of my email address uh, as my screen name, where you know uh, INFGC right? would have been you on my Steam account. And then say, oh, I, I thought I was back into my account, right? and they it's just like, deleted oh, look, everything. That's exactly what I expected. But I, used the I was looking at all my stuff, and it was saying purchase, and I'm like, why would they remove the games from the account? Why would they remove everything, all the games from the account? That doesn't make any sense. So then I realized that it was a completely Price different account um i attach my google authenticator to uh, that new account space. which so um very made it so that my phone number was associated Price with the new account well, so then when i tried to recover is, I think this is my old account again um, it, when it asks you for your number your, your phone number uh, and your or your email address it and recovers so the new account here. instead of the old account. Uh, we know, we know that so what I had to uh, do, versions at all, not, not, uh, what I had to do, I'm just going to show you in case anybody else is having this issue, this to get to the thing level. where it, so it are, lets you the start the a support the ticket because you can't are, usually uh, start a support ticket unless you're logging in. So you're going to go to you're going to go to the Steam website. You're going to go log in and you're going to go help. Um, I yeah, can't log NVMe in, right? And you're going to go to, yeah. my Steam yeah. account was stolen, I need help recovering it. So that's it's going to go to reset right? password, right? All of the other characters um, this, the if you're, if you have not associated your new phone number or your phone number uh, with your, whatever new sure account that they created, um, you can put that here. It counts as your old uh, email address or your old uh, phone number, Steve right? Steve if you have Powell, not associated that, uh, like, email address and that phone number with get, another account which names, they like did so <laughs> um those weren't great you're gonna you're gonna do it anyway you're gonna just yeah. put your put yeah, your so number in there or whatever that, uh, uh do the so uh, um one of the really interesting recovery this, right you're gonna do the recovery I you're gonna hit I search i'm gonna blank that out in here. i'm gonna blank uh, this so out too um and here about a week before, before you're gonna go to no longer now. have access to my uh, steam guard mobile authenticator is a no longer have access to this phone number other no longer have stores. access to this so email they're gonna up, give you verification you know whatever here, no uh, longer have access to anything and then they're gonna give it to here this is what the new account is they created this new account name that's similar to what my other account was basically and um this thing so the Xbox handheld uh, that Microsoft never made you can't you can't log you into it pass, right? or you, you can't you may have been able to log into it because you have the password for it so you want to go to forgot password whether you have the password or not have you forgot to, password to Microsoft it's going to bring you to this screen this is the screen that you need to fill out it's going to ask you for your your current email address and that's where they're going to respond to you so i would use your account your you know your email address that you had on your account that got stolen um, before they changed it uh, whatever the username of that account is i gotta blank this out too whatever the username of that account was right and um those are all great. You know, your that's, first email address you use on that account. Um, if you can't that's what I want to give them the, the exact first one, give them an email address that was associated with that account. 
whatever provide I the phone do, number that was associated with that account, even if they, even if it's not there anymore and removed. And then you explain to them what happened. And then you're going to also give them the last four digits of your debit cards that were on that account or your credit cards that were on that account. Only the last four digits, not the entire number. Um, you're going to give them also uh, screenshots of your invoices from your emails from purchases that you've made on Steam. What were the guardrails? That's what I did, and I, I also sent them a screenshot of like my authenticator thing that was still active at the bottom of my screen on my phone. Um, send them as much information as you can about things on the old account or, or things on the account that got stolen and uh, they, and then you hit send and then they'll give you a ticket and then they'll send you a, a code for the email uh, in your in your email and you put that code in and um, that will start the support ticket uh, they'll contact you at that email address and now i'm still waiting for them to contact me back that, i that really hope the they're like, able to get my account back because i am PC really really upset no, that i works. just did yeah, that it's all fast. it it's was all... so fast and that it happened point, uh, and secondary you think that it can't and, happen to you until painful, it does but, uh, i would just like oh oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'll just get the counter-strike beta, beta access real quick and the uh, you know, they're probably, in, you, you, well, you have the them on screen, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, click the thing, and then it came up with a Counter-Strike uh, you know, you uh, screen, something. right? You know, it's like a Counter-Strike screen, and it's like, oh, click this button, I click the button, like, you guys, and then, uh, you know, you log in with your, your, your Steam account. I was like, oh, that makes sense, I guess, you know, they log in, they give you access to the beta, cool. Um, I didn't even, I didn't even think about it until after, I'm just like, I think I just got my account um, This literally just happened with, um, with, uh, Linus on YouTube. Pretty impressive um, and he me. got his account, as I'm literally you know, hearing his account got banned, and he got his account so stolen, you guys just, and I started thinking that's so exactly the same thing that just happened, and right. hopefully, I don't know how long it's going to take, yeah. but hopefully I can get my account back. Um, a product yeah, for anybody who this has happened to, PC this is um, how, you can, how you can... And that's going to have long-term benefits for us. So that's sort of the frame in which we're thinking.